In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to send a ton of pressure at your opponent from the nickel 335 wide formation. Now this is not the meta blitz that you've probably seen before. We will cover a little bit about that. This is a little bit of a different way to run this defense um, that most people really aren't doing it, but I think it can be really good in light of some of the things that I think are about to change with the way Madden Ultimate Team works and the way the competitive scene is going to shift to more of a pressure bust pipes defense as opposed to a coverage defense, just based on some of the things that I'm anticipating gonna happen in the next couple of days. What's up, guys? My name's Cody, and I want to thank you for taking the time to watch today's video. Now, if you're brand new to the channel, maybe you've never been to any of my videos before, uh, my channel is all about how to get better at Madden 21. And I teach you offensive schemes and defensive schemes on YouTube every single day. I post videos at 2 o'clock, at 4 o'clock, at 6 o'clock, and at 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. So if you're interested in getting better at this game, I want to encourage you to go ahead and click the subscribe button at the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. All right, guys, let's jump right in. I've been getting a lot of questions about uh, defense. Like, people people asking, like, how do you have such good defense? You know, you, you only give up about, you know, 10 to 14 points a game. How are you doing that? How are you stopping people, some of the power formations? Well, let's jump into it. So, um, a lot of people have been running nickel 335 wide. A lot of people have been running nickel. And, and it is. It's I think nickel 335 wide is... Uh, one of the better defenses in the game because it can it can stop a little bit of everything, right? That's the, what makes it so good. Uh, and I have a, a full ebook on it too, which you can pick up in the description. And it goes over the nickel 335 normal and the nickel 335 wide, which gives you the best personnel possible on the field, which is why I say the 4-6 playbook is so much better than any other playbook in the game. Now, what I'm going to show you today is how to basically create a mid-blitz look from nickel 335 wide through a couple different plays that we're going to access um, in this in this uh, breakdown. So the play we're going to come out in is three Sam. Actually, I don't even think we have to do that. Let's just let's just go with Mike Blitz. I want to see if this can work with Mike Blitz. I know it will work with Sam Blitz, but I want to try to show you what this could look like with with Mike Blitz. Real quick, I want to show you my coaching adjustments as well. Um, I've turned auto flip off. I would probably have it on for three three five wide. Uh, auto alignment set to baseline. That's just pr honestly for me um, to be able to get people in the right positions. Uh, I normally don't actually play base aligned, but I start base aligned and then audible into and, and then adjust it that way. And then there's my zone drops for you. Okay. Okay. So nickel three three five wide, uh, and we're going to show you this front. Now this front, I believe, could be very very effective based on the way people are playing the game right now. Um, because it's good against the run, it's good against the pass. Um, so let's just jump into it. Okay, so Mike Blitz, zero. Now all you're going to do is you're going to globally blitz your linebackers. And then what you're going to do is you're going to spread your defensive line or shift them. You can you can either sh you can shift them to the weak side if you want to, or you can spread them. Okay, what I'm going to try to do here is I'm going to shift them to the weak side. And then I'm going to show Blitz instantly. And what you'll see is it's going to bring this safety into the box, and you're just going to run this safety off. Now, does this look familiar? Does this look look familiar? And then you're just going to come down here like this. Now, what you've just done is you've created mid-blitz, right? You see here I'm blitzing six, and what you'll notice is I should get two people free. You see there I'm able to get two people free at the quarterback? That's huge, 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 huge. Now, um, now the, the, the real trick of this, I think, um, is to do something like this, where you're spreading. Um, you have to press twice to get it to go down. But you're going to give something like this look right here. And I actually really, really like this look. Like if I'm pinched or something, um, or, or maybe I'm like doing something like this right here. Like this, this look right here is intimidating, right? They're, not gonna, they're probably not going to run the ball, okay? Uh, but if they, if they send players out on routes... Um, you'll see you should get two free as well. So you see that I'm getting two free. Okay, I'm getting two free, I'm getting two free. I wanna stress that. So now what do you do when they max protect? Let me show you this blitz against max protect. So again, all I'm doing is I'm globally blitzing my linebackers. I'm shifting my defensive line um, to, to the uh, weak side of the formation. So to the right shift them to the right and I might spread my line. I might pinch my linebackers. If I do anything, I'm going to pinch them. Okay. Then I'm going to take the safety and I'm going to bring him down. I'm also going to show blitz. The reason I want to show blitz is because I want this safety in the box. I want him in the box. Now he, I could, if I wanted to, I could 
bring him off this edge right here just to bluff some more pressure at the quarterback. Um, he's still going to play like a safety, so you can still put him in deep halves. You can still put him in outside quarters. You can do all that stuff. Now, what if they max protect? Okay. Um, here they're going to max protect, and I'm going to run through. And you see that you've got a, a decent chance at getting some A-gap pressure. Now, if they max protect, in my opinion, um, that's going to do a pretty good job against this uh, against this defense. But if you spread your line and they max protect, now you're creating a look like this right here. And this actually has a chance of coming in against Max Pro. You see how you get that instant those instant wins on the outside? You get an instant block shot against Max Protect, you're able to get them in the quarterback. Now the other thing that you can do is let's say that you're running um, let's say that you're running this version from zone, right? So we're blitzing all of our linebackers out of a zone coverage, okay? And all we're going to do is we're going to unbase the line and show blitz really, really quickly. And now what you're going to see is you're going to get this look. So you just grab the safety that's not down, shift opposite here, crash it out, and now we're sending seven. Seven against seven um, should should become uh, free. We're sending seven against seven, and we're going to get one free. You see that right there? See how we get that edge pressure? Now you have a chance to get a gap as well. So the reason why I like this front um, is because of what it can do just as far as how it can uh, contain a lot of other things that people are going to want to do. Uh, for example, you still get that slot corner on the field. So you, you still have that option, right? Um, you're bringing this guy down in the box. So if you, if you do something like this, then you're still going to get pressure. The bottom line with this too is you can run some pretty good coverage schemes from it. Let's say if I go, I go to Mike Blitz, uh, my, Mike Blitz three. Okay, you see how this safety is off the hip here? I can drag him down, create that same look. But now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my uh, slot corner on the right, throw him into a purple. My middle linebacker is now going to go into the deep middle. Okay, I got two deep halves on the outside to help protect against bombs. And then I can basically turn these guys into underneath flats. And effectively, I've created Mike Blitz 3 now, max coverage, but looks like max pressure. Right? And I know there's a lot of adjustments to this, but I think this front could actually be very powerful because you're getting instant pressure if you want to get instant pressure. Um, now, one other thing that I want to show you is the pinch D from this. So this is like if you, if you want to try this, um, this is actually an interesting concept, but it's basically taking the same concept from mid blitz and applying it to 335 wide. And essentially what we're trying to do is we're trying to get two guys free. You see there we're able to get the two guys free. Now the question is, and I don't think it will work, um, can it come in against like a max protect type of scenario? Okay, so we're just gonna pinch the defense, show blitz, come down here, and we're just trying to, really trying to get this thing to come home against max protect. Come through the A gap, and you see there it doesn't, it doesn't come home. Okay, so that's just something you've got to be aware of. Now, again, you're sending six people at um, you're, you're sending six people at at seven blockers with the three four bear. Um, the reason that comes in is because you're sending seven at seven, and you're getting plus one advantage. Okay, so that's just something you have to be aware of. Uh, now, right here, we want this guy to be down here. Let's get him to go down. We might not be able to, but basically, these are just like double a gap. You know, you're basically really, really in the A gap here. And all we're trying to do is we're basically just trying to come right through the middle. See the pressure, see the insta heat. So you can do that. You can send heavy pressure at your opponent. And it's a six man, it's a six man pressure basically, right? Um, it's a six man pressure basically. So you're just gonna hover right in this gap right here. We're gonna send them. And you might need it to look something like this, honestly. But if they go max protect, they should be able to pick this up. You see how they're able to pick that up? So you got to get out and go cover somebody. That's the one thing about it. But do realize if you send if they if they go max protect and you send seven, which would be that um, that slot corner maybe or whoever, it doesn't even you know it doesn't really matter. But if one of those safeties or corners, right? You're able to do that. Now they've max protected. You're sending everybody, and 
that time we got picked up, but we normally should be able to come in free on that. So you have really, really good pressure from three through five wide um, that you can use. And the thing about three through five wide is I would recommend pinching or crashing this, you know, and you're going to kind of play right in here. Um, this to me works a lot better um, for what you're going to try to do. But basically you're sending six, getting two free. So if they block a running back, you're still going to be able to come in. That's the, that's the beauty of this, of this play. Um, and then the cool part about it is you can create the same basic look um, from a max coverage perspective. So this is a really, really good play against, you know, like three um, receiver sets because you could do something like this right here where basically you've got a Mabel coverage. You're essentially playing cover two invert on that side. And then on this side, maybe you do something like take that linebacker. You could throw him into the purple zone. Um, and then you could basically use a vert hook or something like that. Like this little max coverage defense right here is pretty solid. Uh, so when they start blocking people, now you've got max coverage and you're able to get a you know a quick shed and be able to get a sack. So that's a little bit about 335 wide, how to use it. Um, that's just a little bit of a different variation, but it's going to create that same look and feel of 245 double A gap um, coming at them from that front. So uh, really like that front. I think it gives you a lot of options. You're able to send a lot of people at the quarterback, uh, but you're also able to max coverage really, really well out of it. So that's nickel 335 wide. Hope you enjoyed the video. I've got more stuff on it. If you want to see more from nickel 335 wide, let me know in the comments. If you want to pick up my uh, big nickel over G defense, that's in my text message membership. All you got to do is shoot me a text. My number is 812 216-3644. So shoot me a text. Let me know you'd like to receive that. Um, but other than that, guys, we'll be live on YouTube later today on this afternoon. So be sure to come by and help support the stream. Check out some of the new cards. We got all the new cards uh, that came out, DK Metcalf, all that stuff. So um, really, really good stream. I'm really excited about it. We're going to be doing some weekend league gameplay and just kind of uh, talking through some things, but hope you enjoyed the video today. If you have any questions uh, between then and now, just shoot me a text message. Let me know what's up. If you want to get the full defensive ebook, that link is in the description. It has everything that I do on the defensive side of the ball. Thanks for your time, guys. Hope you enjoy the video, and we'll see you on stream uh, right now.